Hello, people of the tubes. Hello. Do I have enough space to record even? Ah, mm. action, why are you so slow? Yeah, just enough. Right, so Nesta's working on this new area for the thing. The multiplayer area, right, let's let's test it, I guess. Ah, should, I make, should I make a... I probably need to make some kind of place there. Hmm. How do you like it so far? I love it, personally. I, I love the detail in it, too. You really went all out. Oh, what was that shark-looking thing? It's a beetle. What do you mean, the oh. detail? Are you joking? Are you being sarcastic? No, I was... Well, when I referred to the detail, I was talking just about the, the spider web. I thought that was oh, right. a nice touch. Yeah, this is just the regular area now. The other area is back here. Let's just put a checkpoint there so I can go to it. Right, place. There it is. Should I put it up there? I guess so. Great, now we got noise on my end as well. Welcome to What's on your end? I don't know, it could be anything, any kind of disgusting vehicle. Right, <laughs> so I'll name this... Ghost Town. I really need to make so much, just so much shit I need to make, oh my god. Wait, can I say... Is this number an int? Can I say point? No, I can't say point. Would be nice if I could say point though, wouldn't it? And I'd have wouldn't have to move all the other ones around. Hmm. Yeah, okay, let's do that. <laughs> yeah. Exciting. Okay, so what do I do? Um M pause. Wait, what uh, what is what is position, right? Let's see, uh mm. I guess I'll just need like the middle of this. It's gonna be here. Uh, fuck. I need. To oh my god. Okay, I need to save these variables. Where is it? Um, MP declaration. No, that's not it, is it? Hmm. Where could I have put this? Ah. Uh! Ah, itchy leg. <laughs> is it MP pos? It is. And it's already high, but now it's going to be high somewhere else. God, I don't need 10 decimals to it. Right. All the hottest goss right here. Hot programming goss. you got to stop saying that. You know it makes you sound gay, right? Oh yeah, that's fine. I think goss. <laughs> uh. Oh well, I guess you're not concerned. Right, so I can put, put it back to here and then... Oh, I need to find the checkpoint script if I can do that. It's in the scripts. Um, checkpoint, there it is. You are now afloat. Right. And how many errors will that cause, I wonder? Come on, update, will you? Oh my god, why won't you update? Is there errors? Of course there is. The fuck? Ah, great. Okay, check. Okay, that's good. At least I know where I'm going. Got float here. Let's see, what, what are you doing with, with I0? Hmm. Is this an int as well then? Slightly annoying. Guess everything's a float now and such. Wait, slot, check, zero, right. 
Sago is your programming. Oh wait, no, your your game development. Uh, it was all right. It went pretty well today. Didn't do as much as I kind of hoped I would. Kind of got sucked into Enter the Gungeon, which I'm embarrassed about, but whatever. How could you possibly play Enter the Gungeon instead of working? It's embarrassing. I know, very embarrassing. Who, who would do such a thing? Just one run after another. One run after another? It's just like, it's like video game crack, man. It's terrible. Yeah. The only crack you should do is off your girlfriend's back. That's no better. Ah. Ah. Fucking drunk fiend. Totally. Actually, I don't do drugs at all. Great. Just all talk. <laughs> pretty much. I mean, yeah. Pretty much. Um, aside from a heavy drinking habit, I don't do too much. What am I doing? Is this all nonsense? Mm, I guess it is. Wait, what? Oh no, I didn't need to do that. Um, what did I need to do? Check. Check M. Um, ah, fuck. Hmm, this is so inconvenient. What am I doing? I shouldn't have done this. This isn't worth it. Oh, but it's gonna be worth it. It's going to be worth it. You should follow through. Think about how much time it'll save you in the future. Uh, not much, actually. It's not worth it. I, I could do it in another way, just making it... Making it insert a checkpoint and increase all the other ones. It, besides, this isn't... Placing your checkpoints won't... I, I'm not going to place millions of checkpoints. They're like Dark Souls bonfires, not... Anything else? Did I save? Right, let's let's see if it all works again. Guess it does. All right, so um, right now let's try to run this disturbing multiplayer hype map bullshit that I made and see how terrible it is. Oh boy, let's see. Yeah, this is oh shit! Now I need to set up the checkpoints real quick. Mm. Okay. Uh, fuck, there's many of them, and I wish it would fucking not do two versions of the same one. That would be really fucking nice. We really could find checkpoint.cs. Now, of course, we can't have that. That would be too simple if it would actually. Allow me to search a script. Yeah, okay. Right, which one do we have? Okay, I guess this would be either three or four. I guess the Hawkness is four. Beach, it's three. Desert is two. Where's that? Where's this beach? Native village. Oh boy. Do I need to press enter on these? Hmm. I guess I could space them out. They don't have to be. I guess I could just say say they're ten. All right. Maybe I should have done that. Maybe. Who knows? A height. So many different ones. I wonder if there's a 712 if I left that one out. Hmm. Well, there's. Wait, did I do that one already? Hmm. Wish I knew. Should have done them in order. Oh my god. And those I rename when I don't want to. So how close is your zombie game to done? Uh, not very. It's close to early access. Yeah. And it's at, at a point where I think when it comes on early access, I'll be able to look at it and be happy with what we have at the moment. But it still needs quite a bit of work. So we're still working on it. It's going to be fun, though. There's just a lot of stuff that people didn't see. 
that will be in the early access build. Oh boy. Yeah, I guess because there better be more content than in that demo. <laughs> well, two levels. That, yeah, well, shit happens. Okay, so this is Beach, huh? Right. I guess that's pretty close to it as well. Let's see how broken this bird is. Racing me up the mountain. Uh -huh. I guess it works it's... more or less. Uh, I, I assume that the the stones have been set, so it's going to be impossible to actually do the jumps. But let's see. Did he get stuck already? I love his, his little poncho slash scarf. Okay, there he is. Not a scarf, just a poncho. Yeah, I guess I can do the race. What if there's still a spider up there that'll kill me? Oh, what? I just bounce off some invisible rock. Are you gonna have uh, uh, any Day of the Dead attire? What's Is that on your agenda? Huh? Uh, given the. Is that Mexican? Yeah, it is. Oh, oh yeah. I guess. I guess we should have that, huh? There you go. It's it's good to have a. Uh, Mexican. Uh, How have we not thought of this? Yes. Oh, great. The hitboxes are wild. All right, so I guess I can't hmm. really test if I can jump up there. I probably need to tell him to make him much more unjumpable. So you need to do. Even though I suppose maybe it's fine to. Ha I guess this is the only point where you can jump it up. Right. Okay, so here's, here's lag, I think. Yeah, now it's scanning those things. I don't know how long it'll take. I should probably have checked. Can I have the mouse cursor now? Oh my god, what is happening? Super laggy. Right, I guess I'll just tab out. That works. Right, so... Six. 300. Okay, that might take a bit longer than it should. Uh, fuck, that means I'd have to restart. Oh, shit! That's not a smart thing I did, is it? Should have saved first. Hmm. Yeah, no, no. How long is 300? Fuck, if I knew. No! No, no. Mm, you can't stop it now that it's in an infinite loop. Oh! Is it back? No, it's not. Right. Hmm. So, what does the Day of the Dead look like then? Oh, it's it's festive. It's basically Mexico's Christmas. Uh. Right. Oh my God! Fuck you, ads. Oh wait, that's not ads. All right. Oh yeah, skulls, huh? Yeah, a lot of skulls. A lot of skulls. Fun stuff. I wonder if you could do some kind of Halloween part where you're actually fighting zombies that look like this. <laughs> oh, wait. That'd be kind of fun. But that wouldn't work. Would they be mouse zombies? Would they be little humans? No, that wouldn't work. <laughs> no, no, just make them mouse zombies or make them critter zombies or just overlay a, a skull skin on them. It'll be great. So oh, boy. It's all just this one skull with the flowers. Yeah. Santa Muerte, man. Hmm. What have they that, done? What have they done? Oh my god. It's like a hipster's skull. But you gotta love the decorations there. It's all so pretty. Freaking cross, oh no. Meat! Maybe. Okay. Yeah, it looks almost like a luchador mask. Are you gonna have some uh, oh, some uh, Ball wrestling mask stuff? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, isn't that isn't that ever the new thing? Do they have that in Wild West times? Well, yeah, that's that's not really from the Wild West, I guess. But it's still fun. Still gotta add all that fun stuff, you know. So no, it's gotta be true to the setting. Oh, no. When did that first come out? Oh, Wikipedia, right. 
Did it say Beatles there? God, fuck you, e-banging Wikipedia. Can't you just use ads that I could block? Ugh. Why does the ad block not block this shit anyways? Uh, maybe they don't block it because they're not... I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they feel sympathy for Wikipedia. No, it's because it's not so party ads. <laughs> they're very particular. I see. Which year, damn you? Oh, Gallic Welsh, right. Christian influence. Only 18th century? Oh no. Guess we can't have it. <laughs> uh, you're gonna upset a lot of people that want it. Actually, no. I guess Wild West is kind of late already, isn't it? It's probably like 19th century, isn't it? Yeah, they had I think trains. That, that... That would be accurate, yeah. And, and telegraphs, oh yeah. This isn't Middle, e middle Ages. <laughs> Did you find your Hispanic voice actors yet? No. <laughs> oh no. I guess I'll just have to outsource it to all kinds of services. Oh no. Voices.com, I'm sure they can muster a lot of Mexicans. Well, that seems like it's... Easier than the route I went. Which is? Oh, right. That famous guy. That sounds really weird. Uh, he's he's great now, but there's more voices than just him. Oh. I went to the, to the local acting school, and I, uh, I was like, Hey, do any of you girls want to be in a hot new game? And they were like, Well, I'll be in your hot new game. And I was like, Great. And then they saw it, and then they ran. <laughs> no, I dated one of them. It was great. Oh, wow, it's not bad. I guess that is a good route to go as well. Oh, yeah, that's why I'm saying you're a game designer. You should have no problem. Just be like, hey, do any of you hot Austrian girls want to be in my game? Has Mexicans. Yeah, I do a Mexican accent. Brilliant. They can hardly speak English coherently. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> Perfect. Uh Go to the actor school. Give them, you know, it's it's just another thing that they need to conquer. Another test. It'll be great. Oh boy! If they, if they can, if an Austrian can play a Mexican speaking English, uh, they're they're ready for real life. They're ready to be actors. You're, just, you're helping them on their journey. Hmm. Great. Now what have I done? This is gonna take forever. Right. What can I do in the meantime? This isn't even worth it. I, I didn't even make it right. Okay, well, let's do it real. Oh, no, fuck it. Close it down. I don't have time for it. I'll, I'll run it later. Will you fuck off, Unity? Oh, my God. Damn it, Unity. Not even running very high. What? Hmm. Oh, maybe, because it's only keeping at one core. Hmm. Okay, let's see this damage it's done by closing it prematurely. Did undo all my my placing of the thingy. Yes. Right, where's our oh, beach is there? Do I even need that beach one at the moment? I guess I do. Huh. That's not a beach. Lighting, no. Okay, this is at least the correct scene. <coughs> Where did I? Oh, down here, right. Place. There he is. Crazy mouse. Crazy mouse. Doing the butt stomp. <laughs> so cute. So oh. cute. Oh yeah. Hmm. Rocket's butt. Oh wait. That's not how the tail works. <laughs> oh well. I guess it's artistic license of the statue. 
artistic license is very important. You can get away with a lot with artistic license. I bet. All right, it's a ghost town. I mean, look at Mickey Mouse. I've never seen a mouse that wears gloves. He must have some really repugnant hands if he's always wearing gloves. <laughs> oh, yeah, the worst. Yeah, imagine they're all shriveled and probably has AIDS because he was having relations with Donald. Uh, oh, no. Interspecies, interspecies sex. Damn, why are you so, so sexual with these cartoon characters, you monster? I don't know. I, I know that Robert Crumb was attracted to Bugs Bunny. So. Who? And Robert Crumb? You don't know Robert Crumb? He's great. No. He's this great cartoonist. Um, oh. He did Fritz the Cat. Huh? Fritz's Cat? No, Fritz the Cat. Oh, yeah, he's. I guess that's pretty cool. He's done a lot of shit, man. It's great. You, uh, you ever watch Down and Dirty Duck? Yeah, that's uh, that's a pretty rare cartoon. I'm surprised you know about it. Oh yeah, I love all the grotesque cartoons. Have you seen Feely Day? No. Nope. That's a great cartoon. That's like this German. It's the most expensive German cartoon that was ever made. But it's like basically. Have you ever seen the movie Seven with Brad Pitt? and yeah. Morgan Freeman. It's basically seven with cats. Mm -hmm. it, it's it's really messed up, but it's such a good cartoon. Good story, good everything. Would recommend it. Right, so how do I disable all the tracks as well? Because I don't want these tracks to take up the, the height map. Uh, there we go. I'm clicking. Oh, Jesus, that that only took two seconds to register. Right, it's called wagon track. I guess anything with track. Does it have any sharp turns? No, I guess not. Oh, well, I guess they're up here. Ugh. They probably need to go anyways. They're too sharp. Even though well. in, in this case it works. It also says our oh, tracks. All right. I kind of wish you had more, uh, more cacti. I should have more? I think you should have more in different varieties of cacti. Oh, yeah, I could just... Uh, no, never mind. Uh, there used to be a concept for a cactus that jumps around and shoots you. But what happened? Just decided it was no good? No bueno? I don't think I want to go this cartoony. I think I made a mistake when I came up with the concept. <laughs> I see. Alright, so now... There's no way it could possibly take forever now, but let's just save the scene anyways. Uh, go faster. Huge area. Breath of the Wild. Huge. Right. This is gonna be good. Finally I got an area where I can <sighs> run around without being in the town full of mice and and have fighting of multiplayer <coughs> stuff. Right, shift six. How long will it take now? <coughs> Not long apparently, right. Now let's see what happens if I Publish. Oh, it works right away. That's cool. So now if I press 6. Okay. That's weird. That's pretty weird. I think it knows. Well, it knows that the cheese is there. Oh, no. Honey pot ants. So, have you decided what you're going to call your agar-style cheese mode? So, I don't know if I'll have that. It'll uh, just be cheese I.O., of course. 
Ah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh yeah, like maybe it should just be a spin-off, a, a separate website. Where it's just, <laughs> just the poor mouse graphics that you collect cheese. Ah. Could be fun. I'm sure everybody's looking forward to uh, cheese IO. Oh my god, you can split into little cheeses, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'll just be some 3D agario. Uh, sounds cute. Sounds cute. Alright, so that's, that's a nice old Mary, I guess. Wait, why did I even bother with this? This isn't what I'm doing right now. Right now I'm gonna make jars. Right. Mm. I guess there's no enemies if I'm not in the multiplayer. I guess we're gonna make enemies, but whatever. Is that the hawk? No, it's the nest. Hmm. Oh yeah, he put that nest on a palm that isn't there. Oh no, nest, what have you done? I removed all the trees from this scene somehow. Wait, that's not the right scene. The right scene had trees. Wait, no, I I removed the trees because I did the thing. Yes, of course. The the, the height map scanning removes the trees. <laughs> Who could have guessed? Because because they would be weird in the height map to have trees. Right. So here, let's see this nest not float then real quick. Let's see it. Yeah, that's better. Gorgeous. Look at that tree. Yeah, that's pretty good, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, was that hand done by Nestor? Nope. Oh. I think that might even be a free asset. Interesting. Well, it's, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. I think we, we did some kind of colliders for it, though. I'm not sure. Well, you can't argue with free, unless it's really bad. Oh, no, never mind. I guess those are the default colliders. They didn't even have a, a part where they can wiggle in the where they can wiggle in the the breeze, but I don't know if we'll have that. Oh shit! Is that a bomb? Oh no! Oh, yeah, let, let's see what happens if I throw a char at him. Oh my god! Hmm. Beautiful, but he didn't get splattered. I got splattered. Right. Mm. Oh, that's not the right button. There we go. Did he? Is there any honey on him? No. I didn't see any. It's it's actually kind of hard to see anything going on right now. It's really choppy. Oh no. Oh no. Right. So let's see. Nuts and honey. That's what I should do. Oh, I didn't check. Oh, well, let's see. I, I'll, I'm going to press the button again. Let's see if it, re if it removed all the tracks. Mm. Yeah, control 6. And... Should have looked at the tracks. So they're gone. All right, that's cool. So that's just the collider it's going to have. Right. Yeah, let me try it again, I guess. Let's see if I can shoot that. Oh, I guess that didn't really count. Nope. <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> oh, that's good to know. Oh, that explains why the the this the trails are so why why it's so desynchronized. Oh my god. Wait, does it? Hmm. Apparently. It, it uses all the momentum of the current one, but then, but then, it, it uses the position it has, so it, that makes it kind of weird. Uh, yeah, the server updates the position. No way, that can't be right. I guess it must be different if it's holding on to someone. Hmm. Always fun debugging. Always fun. 
Did I do anything? No, I didn't. Right. Oh, I have no seeds. Fuck. Give me. Right. The fuck are those coming from, anyways? Fucking what? Who's shooting those? Oh, they must be underground, actually. Yeah, the, the scan wasn't really large, that's why it's so fast. That will you let me lock on? There we go. Well, at least it knows it broke. Oh, wait. I guess there's no way of testing. Oh, it, it did go through. Hmm. Right, anyways, let's go and do some nuts. Okay, let's go see these new nuts. Oh, yes, I should teleport to Little Mexico again. Hmm. Little Mexico, that's that's cute. It's a cute name for a, a video game hub of activity. It's Little Mexico, where you can buy tacos and ponchos and hats. You need the hats. Oh, yeah, and tequila. Have you ever had tequila? It's no, I don't drink. Oh, you should try it. You should try it with a little worm. It's fun. I don't want to drink. It's disgusting. <sighs> oh, it's great. It's fucking rotten grape juice and rotten potato juice. Right. Nuts. They're, they're gone. Right. I'll put them back in. Maybe I should put them somewhere else. Ah, whatever. Okay, um... Resources... Nuts. Put them everywhere. Hmm. I need to fix the throwing on them. I need to make to fix the collecting on them and to make it nice. <coughs> yeah, it's very nice. All right, so that collects them. That actually spawns eight seeds and then they instantly collects them. But let's let's fix that, I guess. Um. <sighs> Damn it. Don't just yawn. <laughs> Did you hear me? Of course. Really? But I, I didn't have the thing pushed down. We're not on TeamSpeak. Oh. Oh. Oh, jeez. No, oh, man. Oh, man. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> well, actually, let me go back to TeamSpeak. Maybe that'll help. All right, I just took a shit and it was amazing. Such a that's, good feeling. <laughs> that's that's very important information pertinent to programming. I'm glad you told me. Only the From now on, I think you should. Codes. This is something you should live stream. I don't know. <laughs> it was too wet and diarrheary. It wasn't great. Yeah. It, it still felt good though. Sometimes you need to go, man, and you need to go out in opportune times. Oh, yeah. I have a great story about that, but I don't know if I should tell it. What? <laughs> about uh, yes, of course, please. All right. This is a true story. I hope you won't judge me. Oh, my but... God, you monster. How could you do such a thing? Oh, that, All right. That's so disgusting. Well, here's what happened. I was on the <laughs> ferry going to Vancouver, all right? Oh, yeah, the terrible. Ferries. This yeah, is disturbing. Uh, just just the way it gets so much better. Oh, no. And uh, basically, <laughs> there's nothing to eat on the ferry except, like, white spot burgers, which is oh. basically the equivalent of eating, like, fucking an old hooker's panties. But I was super hungry, so I bought this $12 burger, and I slammed it. And as soon as I slammed it, I just burrito? felt my stomach. Or burger? No, burger, burger. Right. Yes. So as soon as I slammed it, I just felt really, really sick. 
and I ran to the washroom, right, the public washrooms, and all the stalls were full, and I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> so, like, this thing was fucking crowning, like a turtle head was poke, poking out, you know? What? I was ready to go, so I ran back oh, out. Oh, my God. And I looked, and I saw the handicap washroom, okay? So I didn't see anybody, and I went in, and I locked the door, and I took, like, the most grotesque fucking anal abortion ever. It was horrible. Uh-huh. It was like, you know, um, do you have Alka-Seltzer? No. Alka-Seltzer is like this fizzy thing. You drop it in water, it fizzes up. That, that's exactly what happened with my bowel movement. It just like... Fizz. Oh, boy. Fizz, yeah. Uh, but I heard a knock on the door. It's like, oh, it was somebody that was really pissed off that I went into the handicap wash. He's like, oh, I saw you going there. You didn't look like you have a handicap. Oh, my God. <laughs> it, yeah, it was just like, oh, my God, what's going on? This is the worst, right? He sounded really upset, too. Yeah, it's like, like Jesus. no one ever uses this handicap. You know how rare it is for people to be handicapped? Jesus, who... And then they're gonna need the the, the bathroom that urgently, yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, oh god, this is horrible. So I wash my hands, and before I open the door, I realize one of two things are gonna need to happen. I'm gonna open the door and be like, fucking, sorry, dude. You know, I just really need to go, or I would need to double down and come up with something. Oh you know? my god, you, you pretend to be a retard, okay. Oh, no, that's not what happened at all. Oh, isn't it? No, no. I forget so that I this opened... isn't a movie. Right, okay, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I always consider myself to be in a movie. Right. A really boring movie. Just me fapping <laughs> and programming all day. Uh, Florian the movie. Adorian Florian, season one. Oh, my God. Uh, it'll be great. It's better than my hand. That'll be the title episode. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> It's really uh, repetitive at season 100. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, where was I? Well, anyway, guy outside the door, need to double down. That's what I decided to do. So, I open the door, and it's this fucking jacked up guy in a wheelchair, right? <laughs> and I'm, I'm starting to panic because. I don't see stairs, so it's not like I can run away or push him down. Oh, God, or he's got whatever. me now. He's got me now, you but I was like... Oh, you just say I identify as being a retard. Oh, my God. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't that time, was it? <laughs> but now it no, is. No. Could totally... I'll, I'll tell you what I did. I'll tell you what I did. I pulled up my shirt, and I pointed to my appendix scar, and I was like, listen, you insensitive douche. I have Crohn's disease. And he's like... <gasps> What's oh, man, I'm sorry. I didn't know. So I knew you did right? pre- pretend something. Yeah, I wasn't wrong. Well, I didn't I didn't pretend to be retarded. Oh, yeah. Uh, right. Well, what's that or, disease or you hand? pretended to be anyways? Crohn's disease? That's when you need to take a shit all the time. And, like, your intestine is mm. fucked. And you, they need to cut out your intestine uh, to, oh, to yeah. help with that. Wow, and she actually... Knew what that was, huh? Great. Oh, yeah. Well, I pointed to the appendix scar, right? So, anyway, he was all like, oh, I'm sorry. I was like... <laughs> Check your privilege. <laughs> your, your white cripple privilege. No, I basically told him, listen, I already have a problem with one asshole. I don't need another. I just kind of walked away. And he's like, so mortified. <laughs> you that actually great. said that. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, my God, the creativity. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I don't know. It's it's whenever I get into these these situations that that the gold comes at. It's like offensive gold. It's great. Oh, this is the best kind of gold. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what I'm trying to do here is make it so that when you hit the, the nuts, the seeds get sucked into you right away but it's not working too well i wonder why hmm. yeah now you can mute yourself that's way better 
way less noisy now. We should have done that all along. <laughs> well, it's it's a new experience and I like it. Oh boy. Got to got to try new things in life and this is a new thing that I quite enjoy. So where was this where you did this? <laughs> it was it was on a BC ferries going to Vancouver. Oh right. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I guess everybody else had the white spot burger too, and they weren't feeling too good. <laughs> but that that was gold. I don't even think you need to use the washroom. I think it was just pissed off that I went in there. Uh, oh, is it right? Yeah, I bet. Well, you know those those privileged handicap people. <laughs> they actually are quite privileged. They get so much extra stuff. Yeah, especially in this country. When you think about it, they don't do anything to earn it, so really, they should never ever be allowed to complain <laughs> about anything. Uh, I guess that's true. I mean, people give them way too much respect. I, I just don't get it. It's just so, so much virtue signal go, signaling going on, but really, they, they're really not that great. You know what, though, Florian? Like, um... I had a roommate at one point, and he was a midget with a cerebral palsy, okay? And we called him Shuffles because that's <laughs> what he did. Oh, my God. <laughs> Again, this is completely true, and we said it right to his face. He's actually in the game as a, as a midget with cerebral palsy. What um, game? My game. Oh. And we also called him Cobblepod and the Penguin because he, he talked like this. Like, Rah! I'm a penguin, Rah! So what's the uh, cerebral thing he has? Cerebral palsy? It's like this fucked up condition and it completely fucks up your body. Like the full-blown retard walk. Um, oh. it, it's really sad, but at the same time hilarious. Uh, oh god, that's the worst. But anyway, I mean, these people, I think if there is a god, he put them on this planet. So when I wake up in the morning and I feel bad about myself, Oh and my god, I, I hate look when, out. when you start a sentence with if, if there is a god. Just uh, it's like a residue of religion from your upbringing. <laughs> Go on. About well, how they make you feel better about yourself. Exactly, exactly. Oh yeah, that's even more offensive to what I said, oh boy. Well, it's <laughs> What can I say? I don't know. It's just... I think it's just sad that, that such things exist. <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't know if he's... He, he seems content. I mean, he has midget sex. Oh, boy. I mean, if he makes enough money, he'll have sex with, you know, regular people. How, how does he have that many midgets to, to sex? Wow. Well, it's it's not that many midgets. It's just like one or two midgets, but you know they're they're with their own kind, so they're happy. It's like Oompa Loompas, like uh, uh, the Wizard of Oz. Okay, if you look at the documentary on the making of the Wizard of Oz, they they have interviews with some of the midgets, and they're just talking about all the midget orgies they had. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, uh, AIDS has not spread to them yet. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> 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 so yeah that, that's the that's the thing and back when I was see I love midgets I think they're great um like oh yeah midgets are always... fine but I mean I mean the just the other disease is just sad that they exist well yeah yeah not being able to walk oh, must be terrible well he could walk just yeah. not well I, I don't use it much anyways the walking well I guess I use it more now Oh, maybe I should go for a walk today. Go on a hike. It's it seems to be sunshiny. I like I like cycling. Just like but anyway, I'm getting off the point. Um I don't know where I was going with this. I just I just wanted to tell you about my midget roommate. So you always keep bringing him up, oh boy. Shuffles? Yeah, you'll hear you'll hear a lot about shuffles. <laughs> It's like, like your, your your favorite pet. Hmm. Yeah, we, we called him a pet at one point, too. And we were not nice to that guy. But at the same time, he was an asshole, so it worked out. Jesus. 
As long as you don't do midget tossing like in the Wolf of Wall Street. Uh, <laughs> well, it's not like he didn't want it done. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he just pretends to be little Superman. Uh, yeah. Actually, in Windsor, where I'm from, we have a strip club, and it's one of the... I think it's the only strip club in Canada. We're the only place in Canada where they have a uh, midget tossing league. So what? there was oh this black God. guy called Zeus, and he was like this big, muscular black guy. And there was like a little midget, I forget his name, but he always dressed up in a Superman costume and they'd throw him at a dartboard. <laughs> My God, why? Because it's hilarious. But why would he do this to himself? Hmm. Well, because obviously he's surrounded by, uh, you know, strippers and oh my god stuff. You know, he he was he was a hometown hero. As long as they don't throw him at the at the actual strippers, I don't see what he's getting out of it. Hmm. Well, obviously the strippers think he's hilarious and cute, and he was funny, and they probably gave him like a little midget hand job. Oh my god, <laughs> just a little one. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, but they make the best sounds too. Just like, oh, oh my god, stop, stop mocking them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I had a friend. Now this this guy's crazy, but he's one of my best friends, and I won't say his name, but I'm just gonna call him. Uh, really? I'm trying to think of Volcoda. I'll just call him Volcoda. I was going to see these videos, you know. No, maybe not. Oh. But just in case. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be careful. But this guy would bring home, like, the craziest broads ever. And he brought home this one girl with Tourette's, and we ended up calling her Flipper. Uh, oh, my god! she made, like, the worst dolphin sounds when he fucked her. Like, <laughs> Oh, she didn't, she didn't curse? Just made weird sounds. Is that a different version of Tourette's than the common one that you think of? Yeah, she just made weird sounds. It was it was pretty hilarious though. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I think all those people add flavor to life. I'm happy they exist, sort of. I mean, I'm sad for them, but at the same time, oh god, you happy want it's to not exist, me. You monster. <laughs> Well, I don't want retarded people to exist, like full-blown, you know, vegetables. Mm. You, know. you ever hear the one about the uh, the two onions and the baby onion? No. That's a great one. That's that's almost a clean joke, except oh it's not. God. You you want to hear it? You want me to dispense yeah, okay. my? All right. So there's a male onion and a female onion, right? And they're rolling along, and they roll into each other and fall madly in love. Okay? So... That's nonsense. Love doesn't exist. Go on. Oh, I, I disagree. Um, oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, but anyway, they fall in love, and they have, like, a little cockscrew onion. Okay? Get married. Have a little cockscrew onion. What? But after a while, the What's marriage that? falls. It, it's a kind of onion. Oh. But it's, it's funny because it has cock in the name, so it's a boy. <laughs> uh, but after a while, the, it's not the marriage... It's corkscrew. Oh, it is corkscrew, right. Yeah. Um, but after a while, the marriage falls into disrepair. There's rumors that the female onion is seeing cucumbers and carrots. Oh, no. Uh, oh, no. It's always with the interracial breeding, these these picky women. It's always the worst. Uh, so, the father onion, he starts drinking heavily, doesn't pay attention to the child at home. It escapes out of its cage, rolls into the highway, gets hit by a semi-truck, gets rushed off to the hospital, alright? And uh, the doctors, they call the mother, the mother's catatonic, the father's in disrepair, they're waiting in the emergency room all night, Doctors are working all night to save this little baby onion. Finally, day breaks. Doctors come out. They said, we have some bad news. Mother says, is he dead? Doctor says, no. But he's going to be a vegetable for the rest of his life. Oh, man. Oh, that's a great one. And then he's just actually in a coma. 
for all his life and it's terrible. Yeah. yeah. Wait, that doesn't have anything to do with midget. I saw you're gonna have the worst offensive joke of all time. No, we were talking about vegetable people, like retarded people, right? Oh, so that, right. that was the segue. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm, I, I didn't count the ones that, that I don't even count as a person anymore because they're vegetables. I don't know if, if I would call those retarded. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess that's true. I, I wouldn't call midgets retarded either, though. Well, I don't know. Seems accurate. I mean, no, they're... because they still have their mental functions. Well, it's yeah, but they're... it didn't it didn't specify mental retardation or physical retardation. Yeah, I guess that's fair enough. I Just, mean, I... it is a a delayed or stunted development, right? Yeah. Hmm. Fair enough. It's all the offensiveness in one video. Well, I'm trying to think if I have any actual midget jokes. I don't think so. I have a lot of midget tales. That could be that could be a series. Midget tales a series starring shuffles. Oh my god, you, you cut off the tails and collect them, you monster. Oh yeah. Not um, them precious tails. <laughs> the one thing they have on, on normal humans is that they grow tails. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Like <laughs> like pigs. <laughs> oh god, not the pig tail. <laughs> I like squirrels. Uh, yeah, squirrels are pretty great. I like ducks personally. <laughs> they've they've, of they've got like it's a bit unrelated. Well, no, they have like corkscrew cocks that are spring loaded. It's crazy. Oh yeah. All the animal genitalia. I don't know if they even are corkscrew. I think they just take any shape that they that they interact with. Is that so? Hmm. Yeah, because the, the vaginas are mace-like. I think the ducks have three different vaginas, too. They basically just live to get raped, the female ducks. It's horrible. It's like Muslim, like it. Muslim ducks of fever. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> they, they don't rape the women that they marry, you know? Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I guess... Oh wait, no, I guess it doesn't count as rape, so no, they don't. <laughs> Not in their world, at least. Not in their world. Uh. Well. Right, so... Apparently, I need to... Make something happen, right. I guess I don't need any of this stuff that I just wrote, and I'm just, I'm just gonna say or. Super suck. Yes, and here as well. Oh, there, yeah, insert first. Right, what else? Magnitude? Well, isn't this the same thing as... No, I guess the velocity is different, right. Well, let's find out what happens. Let's see these seeds magically collected into me. Wait, do they speed up the longer they've been homing? Seeds magically collected into you. Oh yeah, that sounds uh, pretty pretty hot. <laughs> yeah, check it out, man. Fucking seed collection. No, they didn't collect. Wait, did oh, they? Yeah. Oh, they did. They just did it really weirdly, right? That's, oh, I think that didn't fix the issue at all. Fuck. <laughs> Wait, no. Is it just? Player speed? Magnitude? What, what are we talking here? How can it collect when it's not close enough yet? I don't understand. Hmm. Oh, wait, no. What is... Oh, wait, this part doesn't need to be done that way. No. Okay, maybe that will help. I don't know. Who could tell? Let's find out. Let's see it. Oh yes, yeah, so anyways, the mouse stores all her all her assets up her ass. So oh. all these seats and everything. 
That that's uh, one pretty pretty magical anus. Oh yes, it's a bottomless it's... bottom. <laughs> that's pretty good. Oh man, oh! now they don't collect it. Oh no. Oh god, that's they make that weird sound when you hit them. Also, they'll never fuck off, I don't think. Or do they? I guess not. I guess not, they're not gonna fuck off. Uh, fuck why, off. Why don't they get collected though? That, I don't get that. <sighs> oh, because I fucked it up, okay. Right. One is with the two dot magnitude. And now it should work. Let's see. Let's see all the hot goss. Damn it. That wasn't even gossip at all. I know. But it'll create gossip based on whether it works or not. Oh, yeah. This could be the moment, Florian, the moment where it all comes together and you're like, hurry. All right. The, it's the climax. Yeah, here it goes. Whoops. Hot steamy. Oh, look at that. Glorious. They're a bit slow. They need to be faster when they're super sucking. Yeah, well, that's usually how it works. But yeah. <laughs> you just gotta tell them what's what, Florian. Hell Especially yeah. when they super suck. <laughs> God, that's slow. <laughs> right, so what do I do? Um... Right. Hmm. I guess this is a different one. Wait, wh why am I doing it twice? Oh, right. Wait, what? Why is this divided by? Stupid. Right, whatever. F2 is this. One divided by this. Otherwise... Not. Oh wait, this is otherwise. This is normal. So do you actually understand about programming or are you just only about designing? Very little. I see. I should get into it. Oh. Um. Good career, good career right now. But better career if you can if you can get into Cali right now. If you need a government job, that that's one that pays well. What? California? No, Cali. It's like the Linux penetration testing distribution. Oh my god, that sounds hard. <laughs> what is it? Spread. <laughs> well, it's basically like the hacking platform. Right. For what? What do you mean for what? What, what? Hacking what? I don't know. I don't know. What they would get you to hack. I assume people they don't like. But I know that CSIS has a lot of a lot of different um openings for that. And I think well, sometimes they ask you to hack their own systems, right? To see what vulnerabilities there are. Oh, well, yeah. <clears throat> okay, I guess. So that's what that is, right? Did that count? I guess, yeah, I guess that works slightly better. Wait, what? They don't do it instantly. Why don't they? Oh, I guess they don't have enough power. Wait, don't they? Weird. Hmm. I don't know though. I don't know about this programming thing. I'm a little worried. It's got a program, man. Well, it's not that. I just don't know in the long term how viable it's going to be as a career. What are you talking about? What else is there going to be? Well, cooking is pretty safe. If you're a good chef, you'll, you're you going to be okay when the robot uprising, as you put it, comes into play. I don't know. Probably not. Well, I guess, I guess you'll be as safe as, as any human. No, wait. Actually, robots could cook. 
No, they can. There's Zoom Pizza right now. That's that's a robot based cooking company. Like it's almost all robots that make pizzas. But to make something <laughs> That's uh, funny. I wonder how they how they cook. They do a really good job, apparently. That that business has been getting more and more uh traction. Um so but can can robots cook something very specific like uh, foie gras and fucking frog legs seared at a certain temperature specifically designed to cater to some French rich guy and shit I don't know probably not um, well you don't know much about the robot uprising you think they can program but they can't cook Jesus it would be way harder to cook than to, uh, to, to program than to cook well, cooking has a certain level of art to it, you know? Programming doesn't, man. No, no, it does too, but it's it's different. No, it isn't. Both creativity. Well, the thing is, robots will never be game designers, right? So that that's a safe job. You but when you're talking about... What are you talking about? Robots? Yeah, they, they, I don't know. Don't, don't do everything we do. And better. Hmm. Well, I guess it'll be more AI than robots, but yeah. That that's in the far future. Not that far. Hmm. Well. Yeah. Maybe not. That's what everybody's worried about now. We'll see. Are they? I thought that was just me. No, Elon Musk. Uh, who's that other really famous retarded uh intelligent? Oh, Jesus. Stephen Hawkins. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You knew exactly who I was talking about. Stephen Hawking. Yeah, because I don't know do. much about the robot uprising. I just didn't think that. I think that was a, more of a. More of a thing that happened like ten years ago when those guys got together and, and fussed about robots. Mm. There was actually a book. Well, not a book. Basically, a manifesto written by this guy in. Harvard. It was called Suicide Nut because after he finished writing his life's work, he blew his brains out. Uh, but you should look that up. It's oh. it's free. You can get it in a PDF form. Maybe I should send it to you. I don't know. I don't read. Oh, you don't. You don't read. Only the YouTube. If I only listen. I don't read. Uh, well, I guess you could just copy all that text and turn it to text to talk. No, that's lame. In, in a horrible robot voice. No, that's great. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Th that's that's how I jerk off. I Just, bet it is. Yeah. You probably have one of those shitty sex robots too. That sound horrible. Uh, save your sex doll. It's Not basically sure. uh, a Jesus themed sex doll because I always wanted holy fuck. Uh, oh yeah, only the holiest. Yeah. All right, so now it's gonna be. The perfect sucking. Perfect sucking motion. Prepare for suckage. Oh boy, I can't wait to see this. Oh, I need to make them unstable as well. Let's see. Uh, where is it? Ah. God damn you. Oh, there it is. Right. Not right. Let's test the sucking. I think it might start out too slow, but let's see. I guess that worked. No, then that's perfect, man. I need to make them have more of the momentum that I hit the nut in. I don't know. That looks pretty, pretty, pretty deadly. Deadly. It's tasty. Tasty seeds. <laughs> yeah, very tasty. All the tasty seedlings, seed, oh, yeah. seedorama, <laughs> cedar. Uh. <laughs> right, drop. Where do I drop? Here we go. Um, uh. If Tiger 2 is not null, then... Oh, there's more stuff, right. Okay. Ah, fuck. Subtype. Oh, wait, 
that's that's pretty bad. Fuck. Why is it like that? Hmm. Okay, so this is gonna say tie dot unstable is null. Wait, is that isn't it that already? I don't know actually. No, I guess it's not. But I should make it like five. Right, let's see. Yeah, what I was thinking was the honey. That, that's also unstable. Which means it explodes on impact. Hmm. Honey exploding on impact. That's projectile honey. Indeed. Mm -hmm. I'll see that in a second. Right, let's see. Okay. Wait, what did I... I didn't change the thing I meant to. Alright, well... Let's... Oh. I can't grab it as easy as I would like to write. Okay, that worked. Smash! No! It... Oh wait, now that makes sense. What? Okay, now it doesn't make sense. I guess it's even larger than than the other things, right? Okay, uh, rock. There it is. Um, like what's like the four? Oh, right. Okay. Float size is zero. Size is 0.4. Else, oh no, else. Right, just this part. So, you watch any movies lately? Movies? Uh, yeah. I saw Get Get Out, the Key and Peele movie. Oh god, I don't think I'd want to watch a movie named Get Out. I might be wrong though. I enjoyed it quite a bit. Um, but everybody's enjoyment may vary, obviously. Highly. But it was, I thought it was funny. And I also thought it was somewhat creepy. Not really scary, but well done. Very well done. Mm, oh no, not horror movies. You don't like horror? I love it. It's kind of meh. Did you see my talk about movies? Oh my god, uh, that face. Which one? The, the latest <laughs> one. Uh, the Logan one? Yeah. I did. I don't know if you mentioned anything about horror movies, though. I did. Quite a lot. Oh, did you? Oh, jeez. Yeah. Right, so here we go. Let's see this breaking nut. Damn it, that's not broken. Why did the other one break? Wait, did I say target or target two? Unstable is five, no. So what's your favorite kind of movie? Your favorite kind of genre then? Epic trilogy. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's everything nowadays. It's target two. Well, no, not really. It just Star Wars and Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. <laughs> what about the Matrix? Wasn't that an epic trilogy? I guess uh, not really. Uh, that, not not really that epic, but all right, I'll allow it. <laughs> and, and Star Wars wasn't really a trilogy. It's more like a it's two uh, trilogies. Okay, if you want to look at it that way, it's soon gonna be three or four or five. There it's never go. gonna end now. Now it breaks. Oh come on! Don't take that little seed, on well, the big seed. Right? No! God damn you! That's I need to fix that aiming. Well, there we go. I break them on impact. Let's see if I can throw it at the mole. Nope. <laughs> Not even close. But if I did, it would have hurt him severely. No, and those moles are so, whoa, cute. Oh, yeah. In a hideous way. <laughs> they sure are. Kind of like a hairless cat. Uh, oh, yeah. My friend has one, I think he should call it fetus, but they're kind of <laughs> cute and horrible in the same way. They're, they're like the thing that you close your eyes and imagine 
once your dream goes really wrong, like you have this dream about this cute kitten and then its skin falls off and you're left with like a hairless cat. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good dream. Yeah. yeah. You should listen to my to my MP3 player. It's just static and children crying. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Well, I guess this part's obsolete again because I decided to make the nuts smaller. So that I can throw them slightly better. Not that it matters. Right, well, I guess we did some work. It's not bad. I think it went pretty well. You, you definitely got something done today. Well, it's easy to get something done. The hard part is getting something done in multiplayer. Ah, uh, I see. Oh, yeah. Last time I, I made the whole honey pot, uh, the honey bombs. They're great. Let me just throw some. Come back here, you silly mouse. It died. That, that, money. that was pretty cool. And there's a, a piece of glass, even though a bit weird. Can I, can I kill the Anipod ant with that? I'm not sure. Oh, I guess, yeah. Oh, that's the wrong button. There we go. Ooh. They're actually covered in honey now. <laughs> it works well on ants, not so well on anything else. We have an insect zoo where I live, and they have those disgusting, fat-ass ants. But they're they're filled with something, filled with larva, larva sacs. I don't know. Uh, oh yeah. Oh, can I reflect? It's really hard in single player, I think. Nope, I did it. Oh, well beautiful. Done. Oh yeah, they explode in honey particles too now, these things. Oh, but not always. Oh, I guess it was underground already. Splash. <laughs> uh, beautiful. Yeah, I love it. Do you mind? What are you pumping at? Oh, I guess it's trying to eat something. Oh, it missed. There you go. Is there someone talking near you? It feels like this. Sounds like you're in a in some kind of cafe. I'm not in a cafe and there's no one talking near me, not that I hear. It's so weird how some mics just sound like you're in a cafe. Interesting. Or in some kind of busy town square. <laughs> busy town square, no. It's like one AM where I'm at. Well, the sun has come up recently, so... Hey, what time is it? Nine? Wow, we spent some time. Indeed. Oh, yeah. Nuts. Oh, wait, now they're too small, aren't they? Mm. Sure. Sure fun. It was a blast. Oh, yeah. Sp yeah. I, mean, I guess they, they're fine size for a mouse. Oh, yeah. Well, subscribe for more... Seeds and such. Yeah, collection of seeds. It was a blast. Subscribe. Oh, there's, there's another one, right? Check out the collection one last time. Roop. <laughs> yeah, goodbye. Bye.